It's going to be a short video about precise action center placement in Modo. So I've got to this uh, sphere and I'm in component mode. So I'm going to activate the rotate tool. And at the moment, there's no action center selected, which is the default. But I'm going to hit Alt A to activate the uh, automatic action center. And now I can move the action center around. I can just click anywhere on the on the work plane and that will uh, place the action center at the point on the screen where uh, where the point I clicked it, uh, intersects with the work plane so I can put it more or less anywhere. Um, another thing I can do is I can control it numerically here from the properties panel so if I decide I want it sort of one meter out on the uh, on the X say and uh, maybe uh, 50 millimeters on the Y that will place it there and uh, now obviously any rotate action I perform will be uh, from this point um, but if I drop the tool having actually taken the trouble to place the action center numerically uh, this doesn't work if you just click but if you if you place it numerically it will be persistent um, and you can even go to a different mesh item and it will still remain and when you uh, activate your rotate tool it will be from that point again and um, now once it's placed you can't just click on the work plane anymore you would actually have to place it manually at this point. But another thing you can do if you want uh, control is you can snap it to the grid. So if I turn grid snapping on, now when I move my um, my action center, it's going to snap it to the grid. And again, when I drop the tool, it's going to remain persistent. Um, so that's, uh, that's how to use the automatic action center. But there's also other things you can do. So there's quite a lot of versatility. And uh, I'll talk about the next two options now. So if you've uh, if you set up a, an action center and it's over here on the grid and you've got snapping set up, you can clear everything back to default state just by hitting escape. Um, you might need to do it a couple of times, but you can see in the properties panel now everything is clear. So another method we're going to talk about is creating a custom pivot um, if you want to have a persistent um, sort of action center. Now in Modo, pivots are different uh, to other applications. Uh, what most applications call pivots, Modo actually calls a center. Now a center um, is uh, something you probably don't want to mess with for modeling operations unless you specifically want to place the center permanently in, in one uh, spot. But pivots can be moved around, they can even be animated. So I'm just going to hit the O key to have show pivots on selected and uh, as you can see now I can see the pivot inside that, uh, inside that sphere. So now I'm going to go to the uh, pivot mode, select that pivot and I can move it anywhere I want. And again, if I activate grid snapping, I can place it fairly precisely. And uh, now when I drop the uh, transform tool and go back into my component mode, my polygon mode, um, there isn't a shortcut, unfortunately, for the pivot action center, but uh, you can select it from here. Now, when I activate my rotate tool, it's going to um, rotate it from here. So, um, and obviously, if I if I was to move um, if I was to move this sphere in component mode, um, it's not going to move the um, it's not going to move the the pivot. But if I was to move it in item mode, the pivot will follow along. So this may be something you you want or you don't want. It's uh, it's pretty much up to you. Um, another thing you can do, which is probably more versatile than creating a custom pivot point, is to use a locator. So I'm just going to, in item mode, hit the L key to create a new locator. Um, you can't see it because it's hidden behind the sphere. But uh, And again, in item mode, I'm just going to select my transform and just move it out. And once again, you can turn grid snapping on if you want to uh, snap it to a precise point. Or, of course, you can enter numerically. Uh, in the properties here, so let's uh, let's just move it to 1.5, 500, and uh, now there's a couple of things you can do. So if I go back to my mesh item and go into uh, polygon mode, um, you see this uh, column here in the item list. If you put this little, click this little locator icon in the uh, locator item, what it's going to do is it's going to reset your uh, coordinate system to, to sort of uh, revolve around the center of this locator. You can see it sort of resets the viewport. So now if I go into origin action center, which is out W, and uh, activate my rotate tool, it's going to center it around that locator, as you can see. So I'm just going to drop the tool and uh, go back to the normal coordinate system. And um, I'm just going to clear my action center and go back to the locator item and in item mode I'm just going to rotate it just offset the rotation uh, just to demonstrate a couple of other things so now back to my uh, mesh in polygon mode so one slight drawback is if you want to have a, a, a sort of off axis kind of uh, rotation on your locator for your transforms 
when you uh, do this thing with the um, with the item list locator icon, you can see that it puts your mesh at a weird angle um, because obviously it's reset your whole uh, world coordinate system to 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 be around this locator. So um, obviously your rotations, if you go out W, will still um, revolve around this uh, this locator item, but you may not be comfortable with the view. So you can actually um, change this. So if you go into item mode and select your locator and then go shift home, this is just going to align your work plane to the locator. Now you can go back to the um, to your mesh item and this time if you go out W to set your um, to set your uh, rotation center to be around the uh, the locator item you can see you've got to, you've got a more normal sort of view so it's it's up to you pretty much uh, which method you use but i think uh, with a combination of all these methods you've got quite a lot of control over exactly where your transforms uh, take place and uh, one final thing let me just reset my work plane i just wanted to point out is uh, with this locator method if you want the um, locator to follow your mesh item you could just parent it to the uh, to the mesh so that when you move the uh, the mesh in item mode the sorry when you let me select it correctly when you move the mesh in item mode it will follow it around or if you don't want that to happen you can just uh, unparent it just drag it out in the item list and now when you uh, move the mesh around the locator will stay in its position so I um, hope you found this helpful and thank you very much for watching